we take an equilateral triangle, we'll consider this triangle to be equilateral, and we drop a perpendicular from the from this vertex here. So I'll drop a perpendicular. Now, since this was an equilateral triangle, so this is 60 degrees and this is 60 degrees. And that's 90 degrees, so this one here is 30 by the triangle sum theorem. 60 plus 90 plus 30 is 180. And this one also is 30 degrees. This triangle here, which is half the equilateral triangle, is the 30, 60, 90, and it's a special triangle. It's one that you learn in geometry, and it's one you should, you should memorize and learn how the side lengths are related because it pops up again and again uh, in your future math classes. So let's say that this equilateral triangle had a side length of x. Now, <clears throat> it's important to note that these two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse leg. This perpendicular that we, that we dropped is congruent to itself by the reflexive property of congruence, and the hypotenuses of these two right triangles are congruent because it's an equilateral triangle. So these two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse leg. And so <clears throat> that means that this length here is the same as this length here. And so it must be x over 2. It must be half the length of the hypotenuse. So we're interested in what's the length of the height of this thing uh, in terms of the length of the hypotenuse, of course. So let's just call it for the moment, let's just call it y. And we're going to say here that by the Pythagorean theorem, y squared plus x over 2 squared is equal to x squared. And we're just going to get y by itself. So we'll have y in terms of x. So I have y squared plus x squared over 4 is equal to x squared. And then just subtract x squared over 4 from both sides. So I have y squared is equal to x squared minus x squared over 4. In order to do this subtraction, we have to have a common denominator. So let's multiply the first term here by 4 over 4. So we have 4x squared minus x squared that's all over 4. Since this is 4x squared over 4 minus x squared over 4, I have 4x squared minus x squared over 4. This is equal to y squared still. And so we find that y squared is equal to 3x squared over 4. Take the square root of both sides, and we find that y is equal to the square root of 3 over 2 times x. So this right here, is the square root of 3 over 2 times x. In other words, it's just this length times square root 3. So I think there's an easier way to remember this, and I remember it using something that I call that I call the base case or the simplest case for the 30, 60, 90. And so for me, The easiest way for me to remember it is that for a 30, 60, 90, whatever the hypotenuse is, the shortest side, the side across from the 30 is half of that, and the side across from the 60 is just root 3 times the short side. So if we just call the short side 1, then it looks like the hypotenuse has to be twice as big, or 2, and then the side across from the 60 is just going to be square root 3 times as big as this one, or square root 3. So I call this one the base case. And I note that every single 30, 60, 90 is similar to this one here. And so I can always just write a proportionality statement if I get confused about where to go with the side lengths. So let me show you a couple of examples about how you can use this idea to go between side lengths of a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Let's say we have a 30, 60, 90. And let's just start with an easy case. Maybe the hypotenuse is 8. 
Well then, we should know that the side across in the 30 is half as much as the hypotenuse. That makes this one 4. And the side across in the 60 is the short side times root 3. So that makes this one 4 root 3. And that's it. That's all. So it's, it can be certainly more complicated than that. And the complication occurs when you're given something without a root 3 across from the 60. So my students get confused when they see something like a 7 right there. And I ask them, you know, to find the side length across from the 30 and the uh, length of the hypotenuse. But just remember the base case. Remember that base case where this is 1, 2, square root of 3. Now, if I'm asking for the short side for this 30, 60, 90, let's just refer to this one. How can I get from root 3 to 1 using this idea of a scale factor because we're talking about similarity here. So we just divide, we divide by root 3 to get there. So you have root 3 divided by root 3 is 1. So to get here, we take the 7 and divide it by root 3. So here this is going to be 7 divided by root 3. <clears throat> but we don't like to have the irrational number in the denominator. So we write this as 7 root 3 over 3. We get that by multiplying this by root 3 over root 3. So 7 roots of 3 over 3. That's the length of this side here. And so the hypotenuse is twice as big as that, right? How do I get from the short side to the hypotenuse? I just multiply by 2. So take 7 roots of 3 over 3 and multiply that by 2 to get 14 square roots of 3 over 3. So if the side across from the 60 is 7, and the short side is 7 roots of 3 over 3, and the hypotenuse is 14 roots of 3 over 3, twice as big as that one. Okay, let's do another one, one more for good measure, I suppose. What if you have the length across from the 60 is something like, <clears throat> well, I don't know, how about 2 root 2? So that seems to pose a challenge. But it's the same process. It's the exact same process. You just take this and divide it by root 3 to get to the small side. So here we have 2 root 2 divided by root 3. But remember that we don't like to have the irrational denominator. So we multiply this top and bottom by root 3. And you have to remember your exponent facts here. This is 2 roots of 6 over 3. And so the hypotenuse is twice as big as that, 4 roots of 6 over 3. That's it. I, I want to make this claim that if you can remember this base case, 30, 60, 90, where the side across from the 30 is a 1, the hypotenuse is a 2, and the side across from the 60 is a root 3, that you can always write a proportion. But if you can remember that to get from the small side of the hypotenuse, you multiply by 2, small side to the side across from the 60, you multiply by root 3. And so the reverse of that is if you want to get from the side across from the 60 to the side across from the 30, you divide by root 3. And if you want to get from the hypotenuse to the side across from the 30, you divide by 2. I hope this helps. Good luck.